Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to create an ECR repository, Elastic Container Registry repository, using the CDK for Java and Maven. And the idea is going to be that I would like to create the registry by creating a module, a reusable module. So let's try this. So um, at the end of the screencast, we should see a repository here with a custom name. Okay, I would like to use the AWS CDK plane template, which is basically what uh, AWS uh, CDK CLI generates, a little bit streamlined, so I deleted some stuff which is not needed. Okay, now, um, then let's do this. Uh, CDK, the script basically clones the repository, and I would like to call it ECR. And um, so, and this is going to implement the uh, module called construct, and the construct is going to be reused in, in a different project, so this is the idea. Um, so, okay, so we don't need here an executable app, so I can just delete that. So stack is also not needed, so just delete this as well. And uh, tests, also not. And then, um, so this is um, an empty project with, um, with um, Amazon dependencies or AWS dependencies. Okay, now I would like to create an uh, AirHex ECR. This is going to be the construct and a construct extends construct. So that's has to extend construct. And uh, then I have to um, implement a constructor. Yeah, this is uh, a constructor with two parameters. And uh, the scope is needed and the ID has to be unique. So uh, the ID is passed. So now what I can already do, and before I do it, I would like just to move this to a different package, let's say ECR. Um, okay, fine. So now I can already create the um, the uh, ECR registry. How to do that? Um, I would like to use the uh, CDK. So ECR.builder is always the same uh, approach. And um, yeah, I pass the scope and the ID is going to be ID plus uh, repository. Now call it or ECR. Um, and then uh, I can just add some conventions, like I will always like to scan the images and the name of the repository. Um, yeah, repository name is has to start with ehex slash and then plus repository name, which uh, has to be passed as a parameter string repository name. Okay, I think it's enough. So um, we could also uh, set the removal policy and the tag policy. But, uh, oh, what we can also do, uh, this is useful. We can actually remember, uh, it's not the construct, rather the repository, and then repository, and then just return it. Because um, outside, it might be useful. We could pass, for instance, the repository to uh, Fargate or uh, EKS. So let's say repository. So now um, repository, get repository, get repo, repository, return this repository. Okay. So um, now it's reusable, hopefully. So, and uh, what we could do is just build it. And what I have to say, install, not package, because um, I would like to install it in local Maven repository. You can, of course, uh, use uh, Nexus for that, but for local deployment is enough. And the name of the project is going to be AirHacks ECR with version 01, which is not exactly semantic versioning, but good enough for our uh, use case. So now I would like to create another project, set up uh, CDK and call it service. And this project is going or is supposed to use uh, the construct. So let's do this first dependency and it's going AirHex, uh, ECR, and this was 0 0.1, I think, 0 0.1. Okay, always. So um, I think looks good. And uh, now what uh, we can do, or we have to, we have to use the construct. So how to do this? So we have the app. This makes sense this time with the name service with some tags. Then the uh, stack is empty. And here 
I would like to use my uh, Hex ECR with, uh, as you can see, it just um, imported it correctly, uh, with the uh, builder and uh, no builder. <laughs> okay, actually, we could introduce the builder in create, uh, but I would have to implement a uh, static uh, class builder to do that. So we, uh, I skipped that this time. So we have to use the uh, this, uh, the ID, and the repository name is going to be live, and then use the new, then uh, var ecr, and now I could use the ecr get repository. I think var repository. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maven clean package. Does it work? Get Should work. Ah, it is not public. That's the problem. So, um, so let's skip this. So, um, I forgot um, to make it public. So we can just take a look at the yeah, hex. Uh, yeah, exactly. So let's do this. Public. Let's fix it very quick. Quickly. So here. And then um, just do this. Okay. Looks better. And now let's start build and deploy. And with a little bit of luck. So now the tests. So what the build and deploy does, it creates the cloud formation template. And then it will push the template to AWS cloud for creation. So let's see, we will see the uh, exactly. So it publishes the application. And with a little bit of luck, we should see in a few seconds, hopefully not minutes, the repository here. And here it is. This is airhack slash live. And uh, with scan and push true. And um, so you saw, saw even the entire round trip because I forgot the expose the method get repository. So um, thank you for watching and see you at up upcoming conferences, airhacks, likes, live workshops, or even projects. So thank you and bye.